Chapter 4, Part 2 Cote sat patiently for a few long moments watching the unconscious man. When there was no movement other than the chest slowly rising and falling, he came stiffly to his feet and knelt at Chronicler's side. Cote lifted one eyelid, then the other, and grunted at what he saw, not seeming particularly surprised. I don't suppose there's any chance of you waking up again, he asked without much hope in his voice. He tapped at Chronicler's pale cheek lightly. No chance at a drop of blood spa spotted Chronicler's forehead, followed quickly by another. Cote straightened up so that he was no longer leaning over the unconscious man and wiped the blood away as best he could, which wasn't very well, as his hands were covered in blood themselves. Sorry, he said absently. He gave a deep sigh and pushed back his hood. His red hair was matted down against his head, and half his face was smeared with drying blood. Slowly, he began to peel away the tattered remains of his cloak. Underneath was a leather was a leather blacksmith's apron, wildly scored with cuts. He removed that as well, revealing a plain gray shirt of homespun. Both his shoulders and his left arm were dark and wet with blood. Cote fingered the buttons of his shirt for a moment, then decided against removing it. Climbing gingerly to his feet, he picked up the spade and slowly, painfully, began to dig.